look like? What do you think is going to happen coming into the day? Oh, man, Scooter. Kings have to win. Yep. No way, no how. Yep. Anything else is going to happen in this building. They need this game big time. They do. And, you know, if they win and the Lakers lose, they'll get the eighth seed, which means they're going to have two chances to get into the playoffs. And I was just saying this, but if you're the eternal optimist, okay, if you want to keep optimistic about the season, which I do, right? If we're going to look at something, might as well look at it with the half cup full, not half cup empty. Uh, right now, the top three seeds in the West in order, OKC, Minnesota, and Denver. Right. So if all three teams win today, OKC gets the one seed, Minnesota gets the two seed, uh -huh. Denver gets the three seed. So in a weird way, uh, obviously you'd rather qualify for the playoffs, but if the Kings were a six seed, let's just say that, right. most likely they would take on Denver in the first round. If, if we were just choosing outside of all of this and saying who we want to match up with, because we talk about the playoffs all being a game of matchups, we right. would pick OKC in Minnesota every day over Denver. Yeah, no doubt. You definitely don't want to see uh, the champs. No. And you know you know me, Scott. I always give the champs the edge. You do not want to see them. You know, but the, the crazy thing, the crazy thing yep. is that right now in this play-in, <clears throat> because we talk about uh, all of these basketball teams and championship of us teams. You know? Yes. So right now, if we end up in the eighth, who are we? Who, who who do we go up with the first game? If we're the eighth seed, yes, uh, we're probably gonna get OKC. No, 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 in the play-in. Oh, sorry. If we were the eighth seed, we're locked into playing Phoenix. Okay. We can't play New Orleans, uh, and so because New Orleans, the only way we can get to the eighth seed uh -huh. is if New Orleans loses. So. Uh, under that story, that means the Lakers would have won today. So okay. we would be going to Phoenix. Okay, see, so we don't even want to see New Orleans. No way, no how. We won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Kings going up against Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Championship or bus team, right? Yep. Okay, let's say, for example, we would play our armchair GM. Yep. For example, we let that one slide, and then we have to play in the second game against either Golden State or L.A., right? Correct. And let's say, okay, either Golden State or L.A., Makes no difference. Both of those teams are what? Championship or bus teams. Yeah. The only team in the in that scenario that 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 is realistically not a championship or bus team is us. Yep. And I'm gonna backtrack on that because and again, this is how crazy the scenarios are. But in talking to some people within the organization, I think they were under the impression that it could only go to Phoenix. But I do believe so. If if the Kings or excuse me, if the Lakers beat the Pelicans today, they're 49-32. Pels would fall to 49 and 33. But if the Suns were to lose in Minnesota today, they'd be 48 and 34. The Pels would still, in that scenario, well, they would still keep on as the sixth seed there. It'd be the Suns at seven. So it, it is right. We could only play Phoenix as a seventh seed, right? So, but I mean, you know, honestly, if the Kings can win today and the Phoenix is the seventh seed, I, I like our chances in Phoenix. I, I mean, you know, of all the teams, I'd much rather play Phoenix than New Orleans. No doubt. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, and history has shown that we can't do nothing with New Orleans. No. And didn't B.I. come back? So we got routed without their number one guy, Brandon Ingram. Yep, that is true. So a lot going on there. Let's go back Friday night. Obviously, the Kings had a golden opportunity. It slipped through their hands late. They had the lead late. Sabonis made a bad turnover trying to get it to Fox. Beal went the other way. Got to within two-point game. Then Sabonis, a couple of fouls on Nurkic. He made three or four free throws to take the lead. Kings had a chance to win it. Darren couldn't come up with the shot. How did you break down the last game scenario there? You, you, you know what, Scott? Before I tell you how I think about the last game scenario, because I think it, what I'm going to say comes into play with that last play. Okay. You know, it, 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 it's been a bunch of criticism yeah. about – um the aggressiveness or the physicality that you can play with. Now, in the NBA, mm -hmm. referees aren't calling the ticky-tack foul. Yep. Right? Yep. You know, a lot of people are like, I don't like this brand of basketball. Well, I look at it like this. Everybody who don't like a physical style brand of basketball, they are the New Jack fans that came in to the New Jack offense. Because you remember, Scott <clears> – <throat> 
the NBA wasn't always just ticky tack foul. You go to the NBA, you go to the free throw line and score. It wasn't always we were scoring 140 a game. Yeah. It was more of a physical type game. Yeah. You had to you had to really really create a foul. But you know we talk about how we don't like the guys flopping and oh I need a foul I need a foul. Well that's what you're used to now. So now the referees aren't calling it. Now you're upset. Right. And I think the players are falling into that same scenario. I got fouled. I got fouled. Well, it was really a ticky tack foul. We shouldn't have called it in the beginning. Yeah. You know, you have to go. You have to go in. You have to go hard. You have to really earn that that foul that you want us to call. Yeah. But with that being said, uh, do I believe De'Aaron Fox got fouled? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. From our angle, it was hard to tell because it looked like the ball slipped out of his hands. But when you look at it from the TV angle. It looked like Bradley Buell had a whole bunch of arm when De'Aaron went up, and the referees didn't uh, didn't call the foul. And, you know, Scott, I played in that era to where the referees aren't going to call the foul. They're going to let the players decide the game. So it's kind of hard for me to be like, oh, well, you know, to feel hard about it because that's not my era. I, I definitely understand, you know, for me, if I was De'Aaron, I would have took that ball and went downhill and I would have ran over somebody like a Mack truck, but the referee was going to call something. Yep. He was going to either call a foul or an offensive foul. But you got to make the refs make the call. He was going to call something. Yes. Exactly. And when you have the ball and you're being aggressive and you're going downhill at that particular time, you're probably going to get the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I agree with all of that. Uh, Two-minute report came out on that. Do you do you know what they said? Do you care what they said? I'm going to let you tell me, Scooter, because right. usually I don't, <laughs> but I'm going to let you tell me. Report said not, no foul. It was the right non-call in that situation against De'Aaron Fox. Obviously, wow. De'Aaron was pretty vocal about it after the game has with Coach Brown. That's neither here nor there. Um, the only thing I would say there, and I'm curious about your thoughts. I mean, first of all, obviously, it, 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 no doubt you want De'Aaron with the ball late in the game. That, yes. that is an absolute given. Yes. Okay. Now, the other part of it is the whole world knows that De'Aaron's getting the ball. Phoenix triple team that play. De'Aaron didn't really have anywhere to go. They had six seconds left. They had a timeout if they wanted to use it in that situation. The only thing I would say to that is there's got to be second or third action off that play. There has to be another option, right? You know what, Scooter? I have been guilty of saying this, and you know I've been saying it for a long time. I hate one four flat. Yep. And I honestly think in a last second shot to where you need somebody to get a shot off and you got six seconds, six seconds is a lifetime. It is. And when you have the ball in the, and, front, court. In the front court, yep. you know, I said two other people should have touched that ball before De'Aaron. Yeah. Don't enter it to him right away. Have no. him coming off the screen. Right? So everybody, everybody in the building is looking at him saying, okay, we're sliding over. That's why as soon as De'Aaron took one dribble, he had three Phoenix shirts around him. Yeah. Run him off some screens, do something else, give a diversion. Somebody might slip and fall. Harrison Barnes, you might get a straight line drive. Something else might occur except for them standing with their defense set, looking at De'Aaron Fox saying, come on, we're waiting on you. Yep, agreed with all of that. And with that, the Kings have lost five of six now. Or look back at the game. Brought to you by Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Uh, Looking at the points in the paint as we do after every game. The Kings had 44 points in the paint. The Suns had 44 points in the paint. Our points in the paint uh, brought to you by RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painter in this market since 1998. When we come back, we'll continue to break down playoff scenarios. We'll continue to break down the Kings' chances as we look past today. And just to finally update everything. So here are all the scenarios. Kings, if they win, Lakers lose. Kings are the eighth seed. They could still go to New Orleans. New Orleans, obviously, if the Lakers win, they would have lost. If Phoenix wins in Minnesota today, combined with that Pelicans loss, the Phoenix jumps New Orleans into the sixth seed. New Orleans becomes the seventh seed. We go to New Orleans for that first game of the 7-8. Okay? If the Lakers win, we are the 9 or the 10 seed based on whether we win or lose and what Golden State does. But either way, we would be playing Golden State in the 9-10 game. So that's how it looks. We'll talk all about that when we come back. Game day, as always, brought to you by Power Business Technology. Experience for yourself how the Power of Family can help you with all your business copier needs. Give them a call today, 1-844-POWER-BZ, or go to powercopiers.com. Game day is underway. 
on a Sunday morning here in our capital city of Sacramento, live from the Golden One Center on Sacktown Sports 1140. Keegan Murray plays here. Keegan scores another three-pointer. Keegan Murray knocking it down for 23 points. Match the Aaron Fox for game scoring honors. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry, you never have to miss them again. Check out SacktownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients meet us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BC. That's 844-769-3729 or visit us at powercopiers.com now now your ideas don't have to wait now they have everything they need to come to life dell technologies and intel are creating technology that loves ideas loves expanding your business evolving your passions we push what technology can do so great ideas can happen right now find out how to bring your ideas to life at dell.com welcome to now Put your phone on DND. That means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please. So always sing with me. So put your phone on DND. That means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please. So always remember this beat. Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Who doesn't love pizza, cold beer, and something sweet for dessert? Unfortunately, your liver doesn't. Liver stress can cause low energy, restless sleep, and an expanding waistline. Protect your liver and get a daily detox with Active Liver from New Nordic. Available in tablet or delicious gummy, Active Liver's high-quality ingredients, like milk thistle and turmeric extracts, are proven to keep your liver healthy and you feeling your best. Find Active Liver online at Amazon, Walmart.com, or NewNordicUSA.com, or in stores at your local CVS. Ooh, ma. What was that? That is business phone bliss with the UMA cloud phone system. It handles all our voice, video, and messaging needs. You sound very calm. I am. UMA has everything I need to run my business more efficiently, like virtual receptionist, call routing, and video conferencing. And it starts at just $19.95 per month per user, plus taxes and fees. UMA. Nice. Find your business calm at UMA.com slash radio. Welcome back in the game day right here. Sacktown Sports, 1140. Beautiful Sunday morning here in downtown Sacramento. Scott Marshall on with the High Flyer. We're coming to you live inside Golden One Center, which is decked out today. It's sixth man celebration day. The old school court. The old school look Love that it. you played in in the Love 90s. It. They've got the 100 year anniversary shirts out today as well. And this is what I think of when I think of the royalty look for the Sacramento Kings. I love the blue with a little bit of red sprinkled in and the white. Can't get any better. It's a good look. All right. One last dive, the playoff scenarios here. Going through it. So, again, Kings win and the Lakers lose. Kings are an eighth seed and they would be going to Phoenix. 
That much we do know. Kings lose, and the Lakers, then we would be a nine seed regardless, or ten, but we would be playing uh, Golden State in that scenario. So I'm hoping we get that eighth spot. Yeah. I'd much rather see the Kings play that first game at home. Well, if we're an eight seed, we would be playing on the road. We would be playing the seven on the road. We'd be playing Phoenix. Okay, so nine plays home. Correct. We would be playing Golden State or L.A. Mm. Yeah. So because if we were to – if the Lakers were to lose Uh and Golden State were to win, then – Again, it just gets so complicated here with all the possibilities, right? But uh, if we lose in the Lakers, because I would have thought that, seed. I would have thought that to keep it pretty much fair, I would have thought that the seventh seed would play the tenth seed, and the eighth seed would play the ninth. Seed. Now, the way it works is seven, eight. The winner of that game is guaranteed the seventh seed. Right. Loser of that game gets the second chance. Right. Nine, ten okay. just has one game. If you lose, you're done. Okay. So that's that's why it's fair, right? Okay. So it gives the seventh and eighth place teams a little two, extra advantage. Two, two turns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so again, the records coming into this one today. You've got the Pelicans 49 and 32, the Suns at 48 and 33. So Lakers play the Pelicans today. Kings obviously home against the Blazers. Uh Warriors are taking on Utah today, and Phoenix is in Minnesota. All right. Uh, Kings can get 46 wins this year. Obviously, they can get up to 46 wins. Last year, they got 48. A lot of talk. Has this been a year of regression for Sacramento or not? Is that fair, unfair? What do you think? It's it. I mean, it's always fair. You know, you, you look at what's in front of you. Um, if, if you go with the expectations, it's, it's definitely a, 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 a down year. Because really, you know, at, at the beginning of the year, if you were to talk to any Kings fan and anybody in this building, they wasn't accepting anything less than third. Yeah. And, you know, and 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 I honestly felt like that was an overachievement. I was like, the Kings are not going to be in third. I can tell you that now. Yeah. You know, I I said uh, a successful year for the Sacramento Kings, if they would have wound up in the sixth spot, it would have been successful to me. Yeah. I said anything under that is a regression. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know, obviously late in the year, it's been tough without Monk and Herder. Keon Ellis has done an admirable job uh, filling in, but obviously the Kings just haven't had the same firepower. You know what, Scott? I would give them the benefit of the doubt of the Malik Monk thing, but I can't because the reason why is that the Kings dropped so many games early on with the full roster. Think about it. With the full roster, they dropped big-time games. Both of the Houston games had the full roster. Yeah. When you look at the New Orleans games, they had the full roster. You look at the Detroit, the uh, the, the the Charlottes, we had our full roster. Yeah. And and, and those were big time games we dropped. So you know, understand. I know Malik uh, brings a lot, and yeah, when you lose him, it hurts. But a lot of those games we dropped early on, we we were full health. Yeah. No, that's all true. That's all very true. So. Uh, you know, the Kings will be interesting in the offseason, regardless of what happens in the play in or possible playoffs for Sacramento. I think we knew after last year, we, we thought there might be some tinkers to the roster. Monty McNair decided instead to give some bonus the, the max contract, bring right. back Harrison Barnes, right? Basically, rerun this team. Yep, you know, Monk's a big question mark because he's a free agent and we can only offer him up to 17 million dollars. You don't know if you're gonna be able to bring Monk back. But I think regardless, you're going to see more tinkering with this team in the offseason. Oh, no. I mean, it, it has to happen because, you know, honestly, I wasn't upset when they, when they decided, okay, let, let's uh, re-roll this. Team looked good. Team played great basketball. And you would think as an organization, you know, a couple of tweaks here, a couple of tweaks there, these guys could get better. Well, it just didn't happen. You know, you had injuries, other things happened, but you just didn't, it just didn't happen. And, you know, we are where we are. But at this particular point, we have to go out and make a change. You know, we said this year, well, you know, maybe it wasn't nothing out there that could help us. Right? Right. Well, you better go find something that, that's going to help this team now because you can't re-roll what you have in the deck right now. It's not going to happen. Yep. All right. When we come back, we'll get you caught up on all the games going on. We'll get you caught up on the Eastern Conference scenarios, everything in the Western Conference as well. 
Game day being brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. Check out their full line of luxury vehicles at mbfstockton.com. More of game day coming to you live from the Golden One Center right here. Sacktown Sports, 1140. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys live Monday through Friday from six to six. Plus, view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com/slash Sacktown Sports. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Progressive asks, what do a slow Friday night, bored teenage boys, I'm bored, a pack of fireworks, <laughs> this is going to be awesome, <laughs> and a teetering branch suspended over your car have in common? Look out! <laughs> They can quickly wreak havoc on your slow Friday night. Uh oh. Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round the clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Want to keep your gas powered engines running like new? Staples' proprietary formulas are proven by third party testing to outperform the competition in keeping fuel fresh, preventing corrosion, and cleaning the entire fuel system. With Stable, you can have confidence you are doing the right thing for your engine's long-term health. Just pour into your gas can or fuel tank, then top off with fresh fuel. At every fill-up or when you store, start with Stable, available where fuel additives are sold. Kevin Lewis with National Garage Door, reminding you that in Sacramento, National Garage Door is the king of garage doors. We service, sell, and install garage doors and openers. Calls today for your basketball special. A new 16x7 Rainer garage door with insulation and a belt drive opener for only $24.49 installed. Give us a call today, 916-638-4554. National Garage Door. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. Welcome back in the game day right here. Sacktown Sports, 1140. Scott Marshall along with the high flyer, Henry Turner. It's game 82, the final day of the regular season. We know for the Kings it won't be their final game. They will be playing in the play-in it's just the question of what seed will they be for the play they could be eight nine or ten eight's a lot better than nine or ten they would have two chances to get into the playoffs in that scenario if they're the eight seed they will be taking on the phoenix suns a team which they do match up pretty well against although they did lose here at home in a heartbreaker 108 to 107 on friday night all right, game day is always brought to you by National Garage Door. Check out their basketball special, 916-638-4554. Let's get you caught up on all the other scores. And, Henry, it's kind of fun with every game going on at the same time. In so many playoff scenarios, it's ridiculous in both conferences. 
I like it, Scott. I do I, too. I really do. I mean, it's not one of those situations where you're like, okay, those four teams are out. They're just, you know, half of their guys are in Cancun already. And, okay, these teams are going to be doing this. No, I mean, it, it definitely gives you, you know, a chance to see meaningful basketball all the way through. No doubt. All right, let's get you caught up on the score. So all the Eastern Conference games are underway. All the Western Conference games will start at 1230. Eastern Conference right now, the Celtics, who will be the one seed and have home court throughout the playoffs, they're beating the Wizards 90-71. to Cavaliers right now on top of Charlotte 96-88. The Pacers leading the Hawks 102-86. The Heat leading the Raptors 75-61. Knicks and Bulls close one, New York 64, Chicago 62. The Magic beating the Bucks 62 55, and the Sixers on top of the Nets 70 to 56. Let's look at these Eastern Conference scenarios because the Eastern Conference is bunched up as the Western Conference minus Boston, of course. You look at two through eight right now Milwaukee 49 and 32, the Knicks 49 and 32. A Milwaukee loss and a New York win, and the Knicks move into the two seed. Right Ooh. now, Milwaukee's losing and New York is winning. You've got the Cavs at 48 and 33. They most likely will stay in a four seed. I don't know the tie up, the breakers between the Knicks and Cavs and the Bucks and Cavs, too, but potentially they could move up. The Magic at the number five seed right now, 46 and 35. Pacers, 46 and 35. Sixers, 46 and 35. And the Heat, 45 and 36. The Magic are leading right now, but there is a scenario where they could fall all the way to eight if they lose. Pacers win, Sixers win, and Heat win. You know what? Can you imagine this? If New York had Julius Randle at oh, their disposal, man. yep. I'm, and, and they came out of the East, boy, dude, the NBA would be off the chain to have the New York Knicks back in a meaningful role. Yep. That would be crazy. Beyond crazy. How about just Boston and New York in an Eastern Conference final? That would be, I mean, my monumental. Take wow. you back to the old school days. I would love to see it. That would be absolutely crazy. So we'll keep monitoring those as well. Obviously, we're more concerned about the King scenario in the Western Conference. We're going to jump into the Western Conference schedule. First, uh, we just saw C. Webb be introduced here. Of course, he was on with us on Friday. He's been in Sacramento all weekend long. His new book is out, Chris Weber's By God's Grace. Uh, he's signing copies of it right now uh, for fans lined up to see the great C. Webb. First of all, it was just great to have him on. I got his book, started reading it over the weekend. It's uh -huh. a great read, and I uh, encourage everybody to get that at chrisweber.com. No doubt. I mean, the dude has done a lot, and he's really been successful his whole life. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he has a lot to talk about. He does. And the part that I'm in, it's all about his family right now and his upbringing. Obviously, he's going to get into his days at Michigan and obviously the time here in Sacramento in the NBA. And I can't uh, wait to, to get through all of it. It was great for him to pop on and say hi to us for a few minutes on Friday night. All right. Western Conference games. As we said, OKC. Minnesota and Denver all fighting for spots one through three. It's the first time in league history the top three seeds have been tied going into the final day of the season. Denver's in Memphis. You got to like their chances. But what about Denver losing at San Antonio? They what blew was, their chance for the one seed. What was up with that? They just got outplayed. And you know what, Scott? And, and, and that just goes to show, you know, I hate to even talk about, well, you know, they're under man. They should really win. And this, 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 No, you're playing the NBA team. And at any particular point, if that team gets rolling, they can win a basketball game. So there is no easy wins, really, in the league. No, there is no such thing. Uh, Suns at Timberwolves. Um, could you see Phoenix going, going in and beating Minnesota now that they have the big cat back? Obviously, a Phoenix win, it's huge for them, combined with the Pels' loss. They are in the playoffs. Honestly, I don't see Phoenix going in and getting that win because Minnesota needs it. I think Minnesota still still want to try to get that number one spot. They want to get as high as they possibly can. So I think Minnesota is going to try to win that game. Yeah. Lakers and Pelicans, and they could match up again because if the Lakers win, they get the eighth seed. Uh, a Pels loss and a Suns win, they would be the seventh seed. So it means they would match up right again in New Orleans. They could be a back-to-back -back here. Wow. I mean – that just goes to show how crazy this whole season yeah. is, man. I mean, I'm really enjoying it, Scott. Even though we're having a topsy turvy uh, 
type type night yep. and season to where it, it's up and down on a nightly basis, yep. but still it makes for good basketball. All right. Um, we've talked a lot about the Lakers. Um, do you believe Lakers and NBA conspiracies at all? No. Okay. So the Lakers Grizz game, which they won 123 to 120, the league has come out and said there was a scoring time mistake that an extra minute was added to the clock inaccurately in the third quarter of that game. It went uh, from what should have been 114 left in that quarter, went up to 220 in and, that contest. And nobody seen that? Nobody saw that until afterwards when it was identified. Also, in the two-minute report, there were three calls that were ruled incorrect. All three went in the favor of the Lakers. Well, that's been happening. Incorrect calls has been happening all, all season long with a bunch of teams. Uh, you know, I, I, I will say that, of course, the league has their darlings of the NBAs. You know, they have their team that they want to succeed. You know, and referees have their players that they let get away with more than others. But I'm not going to go with a conspiracy theory. No, it's over the top. And I just said that to kind of throw out the topic because I don't buy it whatsoever no. either. I think it's tough as Sacramento fans, which we are, of course, to see two-minute reports like Boston when, when, when Kobe Jones right. gets absolutely hammered late in the game, does not get the call to go to the line with a chance to win it. And then you read the Lakers, who are in a must-win situation. We're fighting for them now for our, our play in eight-seed lives. They get three calls in their favor in a huge game on Thursday. But Scott has been this way too. I know. I, I, mean, I, I, mean, know. I mean, think about this. Back in the day, if it was five calls to be made and Henry Turner's guarding Magic Johnson, Magic, <laughs> Magic's is, hitting that call every time. Magic's right? getting at least four. Yeah. At the least, he might get four and a half. Yeah. You know, it's just the way it is. Okay. Man. I mean, then why can Deer and Fox seemingly not get a call? Sacramento still hasn't got their respect yet, mm. and and I keep saying that it has nothing to do with the players. It has more so to do with the overall organization. Yeah. They haven't gotten their respect yet. Yeah. Yes, they won. They, they they've gotten awards. They're they're trying to get there, but Kings still don't get the, the respect they deserve. Sabonis is supposed to be at least number two or three on the MVP voting, hands down, and he doesn't get the respect he deserves because of the, the logo that's on the top front of his shirt. I'll tell you what, take him yep. and put him in a Laker uniform. What are we talking about? Yeah, it's AD. Thank you. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, 76 double-doubles, by the way, for the Monta Sabonis coming into today. 26 triple-doubles in what's been truly a historic year for the Dominator. Uh, as we said, Suns at T-Wolves, Lakers, Pelicans. You got the Mavs and Thunder. OKC with a win. They will be the number one seed. And what an amazing accomplishment oh, for the Thunder. God. I mean, if they can pull it hey, off. Even if they don't, it's been an amazing A game. bunch of young guys that have come together, Scott. And you know, start believing in one another, playing, playing good, solid basketball. It's like it, it can't get any better. And the sky is the limit for that team because they're young. They're just now starting to take off. They're just now starting to play well. They still have a plethora of of of, uh, of picks to go out and get other players. So okay, see, they should be good for a while. No doubt. It's just the beginning for them. Detroit and San Antonio in a totally meaningless game. Webb and Yama's not playing. Jazz at Golden State. Uh, there was a report that the Warriors were resting everybody today. Interesting. The Warriors can't get to the eighth seed. Um, they could get to nine with a win, but I guess they're looking at it. That game could take place on Tuesday. And whether they're at home or on the road, it doesn't really matter. They'd much rather have rest for all their star players. Remember I said there's a couple of teams that they don't care where they are yeah. as long as they get in. They feel like they got enough firepower to run the gamut. Yeah. The Golden State Warriors are one of them. The Lakers are two. They feel like don't, it don't matter where they come in at. They think that they're good enough. They have enough firepower to where if they start playing well and they click in, they can go win the whole thing. Yeah, no doubt about it. And what if that scenario, it's Kings and Warriors here in a 9-10 game on Wednesday night? You know what? I'm 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 going to say, somebody block Highway 50 and do not let Steph come up this way. <laughs> let the rest of them through. Yeah. Don't let Steph up through this way. Oh my goodness, that could be juicy Wednesday night for sure. Rockets and the Clippers. 
And, of course, you've got Trailblazers and Kings here. When we come back, we'll focus in on this matchup. The Kings going for their 46th win, still trying to get into the upper echelon of the play-in, fighting for an eighth seed today against a Trailblazers team that will be playing with virtually nobody. We'll talk about that when we come back. This is game day, and it's brought to you by the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sacramento. If you have a heart of service, you like doing something in our community that can really benefit kids uh, this is a great program. A lot of kids in our community, they come from single-parent households. They need an outside mentor to help them with their lives. That could be you. That's what Big Sisters and Big Sisters has been all about. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer mentor, please go to bbbs-sac.org, bbbs, Big Brothers, Big Sisters-sac.org to learn all about it. More of game night, including our injury report, coming up next right here on Sacktown Sports 1140. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-497-1990. That's 800-497-1990. 800-497-1990. Are you tired of your tee shots ending up in the adjoining fairway while the rest of your foursome is hitting it down the middle? Well, experts will tell you that being properly fitted for golf clubs will help you strike your drive center cut. The Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio and its team of trained PGA professionals are ready to help you get rid of your banana balls and duck hooks. Hagen Oaks Indoor Outdoor Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment sensors, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Welcome back into... Game day right here, Sacktown Sports, 1140. Scott Marshall along with the high flyer, Henry Turner. We're going to get you to the injury report for tonight's contest. And we're going to get Portland's updated player roster from the man himself because I don't know if I know it for sure or not. Travis DeMer is the outstanding play-by-play -play voice for the Trailblazers. Travis, thanks for coming over here. I know you're working on your radio right now, but 
We're doing our injury report. Yeah. I know for Sacramento. How much time you got? Exactly. <laughs> Can you update us? Uh, who's in uniform? And do you know who's in uniform? Well, in uniform? I do now. Okay. okay. So I don't know if you saw this, but we signed Tajay Moore. I did today. see that. Okay, yes. So he will play. Played a couple of games for us in January. Signed him for the rest of the year for yes. about four hours. For the rest of the year. Yes. Yes. Um, Scoot Henderson will not play today. Okay. No DeAndre Ayton. No Jabari Walker. No Ashton Hagens. Uh, we signed him to a two-way deal later in the year, so he doesn't have any games left. They were trying to hold him for the last game, yeah, but right. they weren't able to do that. So uh, Delano Banton, Tajay Moore, as I mentioned, uh, Chris Murray, Ryan Rupert, Dwap Reith, Moses Brown, Justin Manaya. Oh, I'm missing some. Are all these guys out? Or just no, these are the guys, guys that are playing. Oh, okay. These are all the guys that are playing. <laughs> But all uh, the guys who are not playing is no Scoot Henderson. None, none of the no veterans are playing, yeah. and then Scoot Henderson and Tumani Kamara are out there. I mean, it's, it's just a classic case of let's see what these guys can give you. Yeah. I mean, the Portland knows where they are and they knows what's going on. It's like, okay, let's see what these guys can do. And, you know, and I understand that completely. What's interesting about that is that's how it's really been for the last couple of weeks, with the exception of DeAndre Ayton, who's been playing. And that lineup that we've seen for the last two weeks, they've started eight games together. That is the most games that any starting lineup started together for the Trailblazers this year. Wow. We're going to have our 41st different starting lineup in 82 games tonight. And that group has more continuity together than any other group that we've had this season. And I, I think that's fascinating because you're seeing some of these young guys start to figure out who's who and what's what and where they're supposed to be. So some of those mistakes of throwing the ball past the guy who's cutting when he was supposed to be right. in a certain spot. Those have happened less and less. And, you know, and, and we it's funny you say that because we we just got to talking about how well OKC is playing. Yeah. And they started out the exact same way. You know, I'm sorry, small market teams, you have to go out and you have to draft guys, get some free agents, get a bunch of really high spot guys and say, OK, let's see if we can cultivate these guys and see what can happen. And, hey, if OKC can do it, Portland can do it, Sacramento can do it. Absolutely. You And you've got to hope that, you find a steal somewhere, right? Like Jabari Walker was the second to last pick in the draft, and he has been unbelievable on, on the glass. Offensive rebounds, he had 22 rebounds a couple of nights ago, 16 a couple of games later. Tumani Kamara was a late second-round pick. We got him from Phoenix, and he was our best defensive player with the exception of Matisse Thibel this year. So you take those guys, like, and I'm not saying you got to have a Jokic who is drafted you know, late and ends up being one of the greatest players we've ever seen, but you've got to have some guys that play above their draft slot. Of course. And then you've also got to hit when you do have those early picks. Because Oklahoma City, they didn't hit on all their picks. I mean, a guy like Pokashevsky or um, you know a couple of others, uh, my brain's a little fried right now. But they had a couple of first-round picks that didn't pan out. But then they've had so many that have hit. That's the thing. When they do have one, because Shea hit. You yeah, know, when you when you when you look at the, the other young fella, uh, Chet, the, the Chet, Josh Giddy, Josh Giddy down the road. Right. But it's a bunch of young guys who come in. Right. They're not solidified. No. They have to work their butt off. Yep. And all of them start to play together and start saying, you know what? I need you. You need me. Let's make this thing work. And Jalen Williams has looked like, you yes, know, one of the, the yes. steals of the draft in the last decade. He's been unbelievable. No doubt. Travis, we got a heart out at 1154. Sure. I just wanted to get that for you. So thank you very of much. Of course. Have a great time here in the final day of the season. Always good to see you guys. Best of luck to you. <laughs> yeah, so, see you in a little right. bit. All right, High Flyer. We know who's playing for Portland tonight. Sacramento obviously needs to take care of business. No excuses to get this win today. Have to win. That's it. I mean, you know what? It, it, it don't even matter about the X's and O's, Scott. Yep. It's all about what's ticking up under your uniform, what you have flowing through your veins. You just have to come out here and win this game. Play well today. Take your chances in the play-in. Hope that the Pelicans beat the Lakers. Hope that you're in the eighth seed and hope that you're heading to Phoenix with a chance to get into the playoffs. Right. You know, and with another chance to where if you do, and you shouldn't, but if you do have a oops, it's not the end of your season. No doubt. And even if it doesn't happen that way, you're at home or possibly at Golden State with a chance to advance. It's going to be interesting next week. Henry, the regular season, this is our final broadcast, but the good news is we know we'll be doing game night next week at some place sometime. You know what? It ain't over with, Scott. I have to see your mug at least one more time. <laughs> yes, you do. But you know what? Hey. I appreciate you, bro. It's been great, man. It's been a lot of fun. Wouldn't want to do the show with nobody but you. You know how I feel about you, man. We click. I love you. You're my brother from another mother. You know, and let's get, keep it going. You know, the feeling time. is mutual, my friend. All right. That's going to do it for game night. Coming up next, Kings Live pregame, the injury report. 
brought to you by the Arnold Law Firm, providing justice for you since 1975. If you're injured, call the Arnold Law Firm, 916-777-7777. Everybody playing for the Kings minus Monk and Herder. Golden State playing without Curry Green today. They will start CP3 and Clay Thompson. Coming up next again, Kings Live pregame. Keep it tuned here all afternoon long. We've got you covered. Kings basketball, Sacktown Sports, 1140. The Sacramento Kings play here. He's got the triple. Sacramento takes the lead. Outstanding ball movement by Sacramento. Every triple, every jam, every Kings win. Sabonis with the jam over the Joker. He's got the three-point shot. Get your Kings fix all season long. Right here on your home of the Sacramento Kings. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. Sacktown.